Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with a devotion entitled "A Waterfall in Reverse." A waterfall in reverse. That seems to be an impossible thing, isn't it? Second Timothy one verse thirteen says, "Hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching you learn from me, a pattern shaped by the faith and love." That you have in Christ Jesus. Somewhere in February or March 2022, a hiker along the Irish cliffs of Mohill saw an amazing sight. The wind was blowing so fiercely it caused a waterfall on the Dulin side of the cliff to flow backward. The man captured the scene with his phone and posted the video online. The water was spraying upward, blown by powerful gusts, blown by powerful gusts, literally making it waterfall reverse. You know, similarly, if we aren't careful, the gusts of gale and gales of culture. Pressure can reverse the Godward course of our moral, our behavior, our attitudes, our thoughts, and our habits in life. When the prophet Daniel was a young man, he proposed in his heart, or he purposed in his heart, to remain undefiled. As an old man, he was pressured to compromise his habit. Of prayer, but he refused to be bullied into disobedience. Obedience to God's principles is the highest commitment we can make. Our biblical belief and behavior may be offensive to the world, but we have got to go with the flow, the flow of the truth of God. The issues. From the pages of his book, the Bible says, "Hold on to the pattern of sound words, the good things which was committed to you, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in you." In Second Timothy chapter one verses three and fourteen, it's so important. It's not how we start our walk and our journey and our life with God; it's how we end. Somehow, some way along the way, we will get hurt. We will be pained by people around.、Uh, we will be dissatisfied with people around, and we may may be uh, uh, sicknesses, diseases may come and make us a little bit anxious, worry, full of anxiety and doubt. God, or you know, people may stumble us and cause you and I to call, follow Jesus and walk faithfully with Him. But the Bible tells us, hold on, be faithful. Like Daniel, he was so hard pressed on both sides and all sides of his life, but he held on and be faithful to Jesus. I believe you can do that with the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be faithful, no matter what winds of the world that come upon you, you can hang on because Jesus lives in you. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day, Father. Bless your people. A great day in Jesus' name. Blessings to you.